hi everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i hope you're all doing well in today's video i'm going to be doing the final cash unstuffing and weekly check-in for december of 2022 we have a few days that i still have to cover to close out december completely and start fresh for january i know it's already almost 10 days in but i still wanted to get this video out and like always, I'm going to be going over our expenses with my uh, stickers and my planner. I'm going to be going over the tracker and I'm also going to be going over all of the totals for the month of December. So this is everything that we spent that we paid in the month of December for bills, for variable expenses, for sinking funds. I will be going over that and then we will be doing the cash on stuffing at the end. Like always, I will leave timestamps. If you're not interested in all of the numbers and um but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get into the tracking for the week i'm gonna be going over all of our transactions from wednesday the 28th through saturday the 31st i did already place the stickers down just because it was going to take more time to place them down and then go over everything and it's just four days so i will be using my spending tracker to go over all of our expenses since it is a bit bigger, you guys will be able to see more clearly. But I did want to go over just a few, a bit of information, what you see here. Since I do get quite a bit of people that ask me sometimes what some of the colors mean. And um, what do I track with like a certain maybe food or just certain questions like that. So I did want to answer a few of those questions. Um, so we're going to start off with the colors for bills. I track that in... Um, Technically, it's not tracking it. I just place it on the due dates. And that is just for our fixed expenses, the bills that have to come out every month. It is something that doesn't change. It has to be paid monthly. And there's really no wiggle room to the amount that we can um, budget for. It's pretty much fixed. And then for debts, I account this in this red color here. So as you can see, there's one um, payment here. And I believe I did make an extra payment and I didn't even place it down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. See, even though you, I, I try to be very thorough, but I still miss, I still miss a few things. So I do remember how much it was for. It was for $443 and that is for Wells Fargo. It's an extra payment. I'm not exactly sure when I made the payment. I know it was after the due date. Let me go ahead and check my... Oop, sorry. I bumped the, the stand that my phone is on. So one quick second. I'm just kind of taking a look at when... I'm just going to account for it on the 28th. Which is when I did the budget. The last budget of December. And I did account for that extra payment in that budget. So there you go. There's two... There's actually two debt payments, which equaled the $893. I did place all of the totals for everything um, in, I do that at the end of the month. Anyway, so cash envelopes, I do account for it in this pink color here. And this is all my cash envelopes. So whether it's groceries, takeout, um, pets, household, anything that has to do with cash envelopes, I do have quite a few. I think I have around nine or 10. You don't have to have that many. So I do account for that in pink. All of our sinking funds transactions I account for in this pink color here. I mean, pink, really, in this green color here. And that's, like I said, for every single sinking fund. So I don't differentiate between binders. I keep it all one color. I might start doing that just because I do have a binder that is more high priority. And then I have one that is lower priority. Um, so I might do that, but I'm still not sure. I pretty much just jumbo it all in this green color and then for this blue color here it is my personal sinking funds binder i do have one binder that is pretty much just things dedicated to me whether it's for youtube or you know giveaways things like that i do like to have that separate from our regular family budget and i only um use money from my youtube paycheck or maybe just personal money that i did save I will add to that binder and I do like to account for those tra those transactions in this blue color for extras any extra expense that we added into a budget throughout the month 
That was not something that was planned, um, or it could have been planned. But anyway, it's pretty much just extras. It doesn't happen every single month, but it was added into a paycheck budget. I like to account for that in this orange color. And then any buffer expenses that come out of our checking account, it was it's pretty much unbudgeted, I guess you could kind of say. And I do account for that in this gray color here. Like I said, I have all of the totals here, but I do have, I am going to be going over all of the uh, month totals after I go over these transactions. That was a mouthful and I'm about to go into, <laughs> I'm about to ramble on a little bit more. So like I said, we're going to be tracking from the 28th through the 31st. On the 28th, there was only one transaction. I did make an Amazon purchase. I purchased some wall acrylic shelves. My sons want to start putting their vinyls on the wall, kind of like as decor, but also as storage serves two purposes. And um, so that was $43. And we did pay for that out of our tax refund buffer. We do still have quite a bit of a tax refund from the taxes from 2021. Yeah, we do still have over like $1,500. So we ended up just using some of that because that money we are saving to update my one of my son's uh, rooms, our son's room. Anyway, so that was it for the 28th. On the 29th, there was, as you can see, so many transactions. I pretty much just listed them according to the sequence of the spending. So the first one was Target. I purchased a cube organizer. I'll try to post a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm using that as to organize something in my closet so that was 38 dollars, and that's going to come out of the room makeover envelope and then my son isaiah did get a haircut so that was 25 dollars. that was with tip and that's coming out of beauty and it was a cash expense i usually will put that it was cash and i will also put this little black dot here and that just indicates that it was a cash expense we also had our passport appointments this day so we did pay for our passports we went through that whole process that was $460 it is coming out of the vacation envelope there is an additional processing fee um, we did get our passports from the post office so that was an extra $140 and that's also coming out of vacation this is only for four passports we did only get our passports for myself Brian and our two kids that we shared together we still have to um, kind of see what's going to happen with my stepsons just because you know you need to have both parents agree to getting a passport and um that's we're still kind of working through that so anyway um for food for less brian did pump 79 dollars worth of gas and that's coming out of the gas envelope for we went to jack in the box we were pretty much out all day so we didn't eat at home that day at all besides breakfast so that was 54 dollars, and that's coming out of takeout we did end up going to a record store and Brian did buy a vinyl for all of them. So that was $100 and that's coming out of the buffer because we technically had nowhere to take it from. So I just am taking it out of the buffer. And then um, Little Caesars, $12. That was after we came home. I just got a pizza just to kind of, you know, be a quick dinner. And that was $12 coming out of takeout. And then I did go to CVS because I was trying to look for any kids Tylenol, kids Motrin. I had no idea. I'm, I live in a bubble apparently that there was a shortage in like cold medicines and kids medicines and stuff. So I was, I went to CVS to try and see if I found anything that I could just bring home. Not that anybody was sick, but just to be prepared. And I couldn't find anything, but I did end up getting a mascara for myself. So I took that from personal. And I'm still searching for medicine. I tried looking on Amazon and it says I won't you won't receive it till like two, three months from now. So yeah, I guess it's a pretty bad shortage. So that was it for the 29th. On the 30th, I did go to the grocery store and purchased um we had tacos for New Year's Eve. So I purchased the taco meat, I purchased some drinks, and I also got a few things for our home uh, as far as groceries go. So that was a total of $209. We, Brian and I did agree to contribute all of the meat for the tacos and then the rest of our family members could just split everything else, whatever we ate and drank as far as like, you know, sodas and juice or whatever. So that was it for Food for Less. And I am taking $138 from holidays and $71 for groceries. 
because like i said some of it was groceries and then the other the rest was the taco meat and then adult drinks and then i also went to the a meat market and i purchased the chicken meat and um the al pastor meat and that was 60 dollars. i'm also taking that out of holidays and the 31st which we had a great time by the way i i'm not gonna we just had a good time i i was a little tipsy i never ever drink hardly ever drink so i was a little bit tipsy i even took some shots of liquor and my dad had gifted a bottle of mezcal to brian we went to visit him i can't remember when sometime after christmas and he did gift him a bottle it was a pretty smooth liquor or is it liquor tequila you see i don't even know um it was pretty smooth so i did take a few shots but surprisingly i'm not a drinker like i said at all and i didn't get a hangover i didn't get all drunk or anything i was just a little you know i was feeling myself uh but yeah we had a great time and ate tacos it was it was a great time and then so the 31st i went to get my brows and my mustache threaded yes you know i was looking like a whole man but um with the tip that was 20 dollars, and i did pay cash out of personal later that night brian did go to the liquor store and they did purchase another bottle of don julio fyi whoever drove was sober i do not condone or support drunk driving that is super super irresponsible so like i was saying brian did purchase a bottle of don julio at the liquor store for 89 dollars, and that's going to come out of holidays and also birthdays because holidays was pretty much all spent um i did take a look afterward so i did end up having having to take the 21 dollars from birthdays I pretty much just kind of in my head said well it was the birth of a new year so i guess it was a birthday you can take it out from wherever you want but that's just what i told myself to make myself feel better so that was it and then the last two it was just pretty much buffer miscellaneous expenses that i might have just missed and you know i'm not perfect yes i do track pretty thoroughly but i still miss things so i just accounted them all together at the end of the month and that was $141. It's coming out of the buffer. It was quite a bit of buffer expenses for the month. We will go over those numbers in a bit. And then Brian's uh, miscellaneous, like overspending. We do give each other personal um, spending money, but he did overspend a little bit. And that was just $27. So that will be coming out of the buffer as well. So total, everything that we are going to be cashing out today is $1,147. The cash expenses was $45 and that was just for the haircut and the um, threading and then there was no budgeted expenses. There was no expenses that were added into a budget for this week and then all of the buffer expenses which is with these gray little transactions here, the little hearts, that was $356 altogether. So the total spending for these last four days of December was $1,503. That is quite a bit of money for only four days, but most of it was because of our passports and then, you know, all of the holiday food expenses and everything. So back here, I pretty much break it down a little bit more. This information here is the same cash expenses, 45, zero and budgeted and the buffer expenses, $311. Did I put something else? Oh, no, it was $311. So altogether is $356. And then I did put a note here that 43 of those dollars are coming from the tax refund. I do have that in a high, high yield savings account in Ally Bank. So I do have to transfer those $43 from that savings account into our regular checking account so that, you know, we could pay the credit card. So all of our cash, cash envelopes, this is all broken down here. We spent a total of $267 from there and $45 of that was cash. And out of our sinking funds, we spent $925. Like I said, most of it was from that vacation sinking fund for our passports and the processing fee. Everything else was at least under $300. The next big ticketed uh, sinking fund was the holidays. But that was also, um, you know, we have the money is what I'm trying to say. And then I'm going to go over all of the numbers. These are all of the totals for December 2022 expenses. It's pretty much everything that was spent, that was paid in the month of December. Let me move this out of the way. For bills in December, we paid a total of $4,274. $2,840 of that was for some of January's bills, which was like the mortgage, 
the um, dues, certain bills that come out the 1st and 2nd of January, and they did have to get paid with December's income, but we already have it pretty much set up to where it's always, um, that's always going to be the case. We're always going to pay some of the bills for the following month with the income that is for that month. I don't want to confuse you guys. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm trying to say. So like I said, it was $42.74 for the bills. For debts, we paid $893. We made two payments to our Wells Fargo credit card. It is zero interest. So all of this money went strictly to principal. And um, we are at $4,000 currently. We are trying to pay those $4,000 before we go on our vacation in April. So um, I'm hoping that we can make it happen. Um, I do have a plan for that. I'm just not going to go over that today. I might have a video out for that. But anyway, so that was it for debts. Cash envelopes, we spent a total of $1,706. I will break it down a little bit further down here. But this is just the total overall in all of these categories. So that was 1706 sinking funds. We spent a total of $3,601. That is the highest I think we've ever had to spend in a month. And this just goes to show you that had we not had this money saved up, we would have definitely probably gone into debt. If not, we would have had to use all of our money that we might have had in excess for the month. And um, we wouldn't have been able to save anywhere else or that was that's just a high amount for, you know, things like Christmas and certain things that are that came up in the month of December we had to pay for and we had all this money saved up already so it doesn't affect anything else in our budget in our life and we don't have to go into debt to pay these things so that was a pretty high amount for sinking funds and out of my personal sinking funds I spent $255 out of extra expenses, which was expenses that were added into a budget for the month. So they might have not been planned at the beginning of the month with our monthly budget, but they were added into a paycheck budget and were paid strictly from the budget instead of taking it out of cash envelopes or sinking funds. So that was a total of $1,225. And then our buffer expenses, pretty much any um, unbudgeted amount that was $532 and it was just taken out of our checking account. We are going to have to add about $1,000 back into our buffer. I did have um, around $2,000, but in the last month, in November and December, it was almost a total of $1,000, if not a little bit more. So we're pretty much down to $1,000 buffer in our checking account. And I'm not comfortable with that. At least for me, it is a pretty high amount, um, amount of money, but I'd rather have it at 2000 just to be on the safe side. So totaling all of this here is a total. Well, let me tell you the total for this year, not including bills and debts is $7,319. This is pretty much money that was spent. That was variable spending. It wasn't debts and it wasn't any bills. And that is such that is a lot of money. Some months, this is our monthly income, the $7,000. So, and that's not even paying bills and debts. So that is a pretty high amount for one month. But like I said, this was all paid with our income. There was no added debt. I did use credit cards, but I pay it right back. Um, what I'm trying to say is we didn't increase our debt to pay for these things. It's money we already had. So totaling everything together is $12,486. We had three no spend days. And then this is pretty much breaking things down a little further. For cash envelopes out of gas, we spent $213. Miscellaneous, we spent $59. Pets, we spent $79. Beauty, we spent $100. Kids, we spent $58. Giving, I always account for zero because I never track giving, even though we do give. Um, but... I still have the line here just to um, to let myself know that I we do give is just, you know, I don't track it. And then for myself, I spent $115. This was out of my personal spending. Um, it is more than I budgeted for the month of December, but I did have a rollover from November. So this is pretty much, it was 
money that I did have. I don't track Brian's spending, so um, I don't put it here. Takeout, $373. Groceries, $577. Household, $132. Some of these amounts is way higher than we budgeted for. But like I said, if we were over some weeks, we would take from somewhere else or we would chuck it up to the buffer. These expenses were covered. I am trying to work on the takeout part because that is my kryptonite. Everything else is always pretty much good. It's always the takeout that gets us. But I know that all has to do with meal planning and just having a plan to just cook. And it doesn't have to be extravagant meals. It could be simple things. But anyway, totaling that was $1,706. Our sinking funds, emergency fund, we didn't spend anything out of it. Home maintenance, we spent 30 this month. Car maintenance, annual bills, month ahead, a month ahead in bills and cash. Um, we didn't spend anything out of that. Health, $15. School, so like back to school, just school related expenses, $63. Vacation, we spent $682, and that was for the passports, the processing fee, and the um, the passport pictures. Uh, Christmas, we spent a total of $1,563. This was the highest ticketed amount. Obviously, it was December. It's when we made most of our Christmas shopping, so that was bound to happen. But we did have the money for it, so even though it is such a high amount, it was covered. Um, for Brian's sinking fund, $120. My sinking fund, $46. Family fund, we spent $66. Out of date, I spent $14. Clothing, $55. Birthdays, $312. Gifts, $0. Holidays, $413. Home decor, $165. Out of the room makeover, $57. And out of our Bronco sinking fund, $0. Totaling all the spending for sinking funds was $3,601. And the last thing down here is from my personal sinking funds um, is I spent $87 out of YouTube. I spent $125 out of gifts, uh, $23 out of wardrobe, and $20 out of stationery for a total of $255. This is pretty much how our spending looks for the month of December. It is a lot. But it just goes to show you with budgeting and having money put aside throughout the year, you will be fully covered and you don't have to make a crazy amount of money. As long as you have a plan, as long as you tell your money where to go, your expenses will be covered. You won't feel deprived. We really don't feel deprived at all. There are areas that I know that we can do better in and that is something that we can work on in this year. All in all, what I'm saying is that you can spend, you can save, you can do all these things as long as you have a plan with your money. That's going to be it for all of the numbers. Now I'm going to get into the cash unstuffing portion of the video. Let me move this over. Like I said, we are going to be unstuffing $1,147. I have $90 in change here to make sure that I have the correct change in each envelope. And I'm going to start with our cash envelopes first. So for gas, we are going to be unstuffing $79. So I have 80 here and I'm gonna get $1 back. So now I have six left. And I will be rolling all of this over. So whenever I do my cash stuffing, I won't be taking any money out of any envelope just till I'm you know, sure that all the expenses are going to be covered because the first cash on stuffing of January is going to be longer than a week since I do I don't like to track some of December's um, transactions and then also track some of January's I like to track all the month together so the first week of January is going to be a bit longer but anyway so miscellaneous actually there was nothing that has to be taken out of there uh, pets either for beauty, it was a cash expense, so I don't have to unstuff anything. Kids, nothing. Personal, it was $26. Oh, this is giving. So personal, it was $26. So I should have some money in here. And 20 of those dollars 
were cash so i only have to take out six dollars i have a 10 and i need four dollars back one two three four let me get the uglier dollars since i don't like to fold them so now i have a nine left in my personal spending i should be having the first paycheck stuffing coming up soon probably after this video but i'm falling behind the year just started and i'm already behind take out i have to take 66 dollars out so we have 70 here and i'm running out of singles one two three four it's four back right no oh, yeah it's four back so i should have nine dollars left and yeah, it's $9 on there. I did update all the trackers. So everything should be reflecting what is in each envelope. Groceries, I have to take $71 out. So I have 70. I have, let's go back to this one because I don't have change. I need a dollar. And I only have $1 left, so. And for household, it's nothing. I think I have change in one of my sinking funds envelopes so let me place this somewhere here so let me start here let me make change really quick and then we'll go back to groceries because i'll probably forget so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let me keep the nicer bills in here one Okay, so I have 10 and I'm gonna grab a $10 bill. And we have change now. So let me go back to this one really quick and have this one be over and done with. So we have 90, I need $19 back. Oops. So 10, a five, and four singles. One, two, three, four. I'm choosing the ugly bills. So yeah, we have 19 and it says 19 in the tracker and we're done here. Now we can go back to this one and we go into vacation. I have to take $600 out. Let me check this off really quick. And I'm going to take out this $500 prop bill. This does represent $500 that I have in a high yield savings account and our Ally Bank account. So that's $500 and then $600. So pretty much what I'm going to do is transfer $500 from that savings account into our checking account so that I'm able to pay that um, the credit card with that $500. And now in vacation, we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 485, 400, $1,490. And now we have 1,490. Check that off. And then I do have to check off. Well, I can't check off passports because we still have to see about my stepson. So I'm pretty much just like tracking everything here that we need for our vacation expenses, things that we are going to need. And um, thank you to everybody. I have not gotten back to hardly any comments, but I did ask for suggestions in my last cash stuffing video. And so many of you guys gave great tips. I'm still gonna get back to you, but I did read everything. And some of them I had no clue because I've never really been anywhere internationally with my family. So everything is pretty much fresh and new. And just thank you guys for all of the tips. If you have any traveling tips, anything that I might not know that we're going to come across, go ahead and leave it in this video because I'm still, you know, I'm still a newbie when it comes to traveling. So that's it for vacation. We are done in this binder. And now I have to go into this purple binder. For birthdays, I'm taking $21 out. 
and this is to pretty much cover the short um expense for that liquor bottle for new year's eve so now in birthdays we have 100 120 140 150 561 how was you guys' new year's um celebration did you guys spend it at home were you up all night we didn't go to sleep till like four in the morning and i'm usually somebody that by 10 o'clock i i'm knocked out whether it's on the couch or anywhere so we had a pretty good time that that'll just let you know that we had a great time and um and we were up and just having you know dancing and just being with our family um eating tacos like around one two in the morning <laughs> i was never a party person like when i was a teen or a young adult um that's never really been my scene i'm more of like a cool chill person but um that was pretty fun <laughs> Um, anyway, so holidays, I have to take $266 out, but yeah, let me know how was your, how was your Christmas? Oh, so it's going to be everything. I mean, Christmas, wow, New Year's, New Year's Eve, $250, I hope you had a great time and, you know, you were safe and with your family or... You just weren't alone, you know? Holidays, you always want to spend it with your loved ones. Uh, room makeover is getting $38 taken out. And that is for some of that storage I spoke about. So we have $40. And I'm going to get $2 back. I should have $412 here. Yeah. $100, $200, $350, $70. 71, 72, 73, 74. Why does it say 412? Oh, I don't think I accounted for that. No, yeah, I didn't take out the... I didn't account for it here. So give me one second. 12, 28. That was for Target. Minus 38. 412 minus 38. Oh. 374 is that what i counted 350 70 yeah 374 so we're good now that just goes to show you that even when i think i'm thorough i'm really not and we are done here now i'm gonna go ahead and count everything make sure we have all the money we need let me take the 90 dollars out um yeah so i'm gonna take the 90 dollars that were for change and this should be $1,147, including the prop bill. So $500, plus $27. We have the $1,147. I will use some of this money for my next cash stuffing, which should be up probably tomorrow. And, you know, I'll deposit this or transfer this. Anyway, I have to do a few things in the background, but we have the money that we need to pay all of, all, all of these expenses back to my credit card. That's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. If you made it up until this point, Thank you, thank you so much. And go ahead and put the words adventure awaits or just put a little uh, globe in the comments to let me know that you made it this far. And as always, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day or night. See you next time. Bye.